So now that we have created our NACA 0012 airfoil test section part, we can now conduct a CFT simulation. So highlight the flow simulation tab and click on wizard. We can then name the project something applicable. So NACA 0012 RE for Reynolds number 200,000 and click next. Ensure our units are SI. And click next. Our analysis is actually external um, and we're excluding cavities without flow conditions. Also excluding internal space. We can leave these values unchecked. Uh, click next. So we're, we're modeling gas and it's going to be air of course. So select air and hit add. Ensure laminar and turbulent is selected for flow type and click next. These default values are okay. Adiabatic is fine. Uh, click next. So for thermodynamic parameters, hit the down arrow and go to temperature density. Temperature is 293.15 Kelvin and density is 1.125 kilogram per meter cubed velocity in x direction uh, 21.1 meters per second and finish we now see a box has appeared around our airfoil tech section this is the computational domain but in actual fact we can just run a 2d simulation it's much more efficient so if we go to the computational domain Edit definition, select 2D simulation, and then OK. Next, we can refine our mesh. So we right click mesh, click global mesh, mesh type, select manual, go down to advanced refinement. This is the first tab is our linear refinement, and the second is curvature. So we'll have a value here of 5 for linear and curvature uh, 7. So by increasing the refinement at the curves of the model, we're going to get mesh refinement at the leading edge and the trailing edge, etc., which is very important because there are vital areas is where the locations where the flow will expand over the airfoil. So once that's been done, uh, we can then uh, hit OK. We then go to our goal values insert global goals. So these are the parameters that we're interested in as per the uh, student handout. So click average value for static pressure and total pressure and average value for force x and force y. And hit OK. So these parameters have now appeared in the left hand window under the goals tab. We can now run our simulation. So select run. A new window will appear and the solver will then iterate until it has reached the convergence criteria um, at which point it will stop. Again a 2D simulation shouldn't take too long. So when the solver has finished, we then have access to our results tab. I would encourage you to look at the cut plot and you can play around with contours, isolated lines, vectors, streamlines. Here we can also look at our mesh um, and check out the mesh refinement. So Control 1 for front view and if we zoom in we can see yes the mesh has been refined um, at the leading edge but it's still quite coarse and at the trailing edge. Um, so I would advise you to, to play around with mesh refinement um, as per the student handout. Um, so for goal plots we can then insert, select all and show values. Okay, so 
here note down the average value for uh, static pressure, total pressure, force x and force y. Don't be alarmed if we have a negative value for uh, force y, which is our lift force. This is a symmetrical airfoil and our angle of attack is uh, 0 degrees. Okay. Don't forget to save your uh, work. Thank you.